Hey guys, welcome back to Block Sprinter. How many of you spend a lot of time designing and customizing your avatar? Do you have any idea about the history of avatars in Roblox? What will future avatars be like? If you haven't any idea, stick around till the end of the video as we talk about several facts you never knew about Roblox avatars. Before we start, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell for the latest notifications. Make sure you don't miss any video. With that said, let's now get on with the video. Your avatar in Roblox is the most important thing when you're playing the game. Your Roblox avatar represents you in the game. The first thing that people notice about you in Roblox is your avatar. Here are 5 facts you never knew about Roblox avatars. Controller Flags During the early days of Roblox, just when Roblox started out, there weren't avatars as such in the game. Instead, playable characters were made through the usage of controller flags, which were used in conjunction with motors in order to create vehicles that move through obstacles. Or in cases like Steer the Spheres were used to push around a sphere using various methods. Controller flags were called controller flags due to the 3D flag that was over the controllable model indicating what controller type it was. Controller type included keyboard left, which was the arrow keys, but was later replaced with UHJK, Flea, which ran away from other controller flag models, and Chase, which chased the nearest controller flag model unless it was already chasing a model. They were removed in 2009 in favor of vehicle seats. Earliest Models of Avatars Now after controller flags were dropped, avatars were introduced. However, these avatars just had a torso and a round head for body parts and the limbs were immobile. In 2007, avatars were given the ability to move their limbs. This avatar type is also associated with R6, which was the only avatar rig available for use until the introduction of R15. Clothed Avatars Today, if you take your avatar for granted, you wouldn't want to play Roblox back in 2012 when new avatars cost Robux. Users back then could choose between the man bundle or the woman bundle. Soon after, the starter man bundle was changed to include a hair type hat that cost 90 Robux, a blue and black shirt with a motorcycle print and dark green jeans. The woman bundle on the other hand was given a gray striped shirt with a denim jacket and a pair of pink jeans. These bundles were introduced in 2012 but cost 75 Robux. The price was decreased for the new bundles to 25 Robux, and finally, they were available for free. This series of bundles also has a negative association, as Avatar 3.0 is the default for new users and is seen as amateur. In May 2014, Roblox users started receiving free clothing for the first time they are given avatars, and since 2017, new users have R15 enabled on their avatars by default. Since then, Roblox avatars have come a long way, and today, we have so many options to customize our avatars. On September 8, 2020, Roblox completely removed the gender selection buttons on the sign-up page for some users worldwide. Instead of picking a gender, users get an avatar that is genderless after they sign up, which starts with the Skylar bundle. My favorite, the most expensive Roblox avatar page, they can still change their gender. Some users voice their displeasure with this new avatar on social media, and the feature of having no gender to select was later removed on every user's browsers almost a week later. However, it was re-added and you can still get this default avatar if you don't select a gender when signing up for an account. The Most Expensive Roblox Avatar Now you probably might not be all that rich and fancy spending hundreds or perhaps thousands of Roblox solely on your avatar. However, a few gamers and YouTubers have been spending thousands of Robux on their avatars. This Roblox YouTuber for example has spent a whopping 100,000 Robux on his avatar and is perhaps the most expensive avatar. The Future of Roblox Avatars Roblox has released new avatar types in the recent past. They released the R15 in 2018 and then the r -throw avatar in October 2018. It usually needs the R15 body type to work correctly. Roblox also plans to release 3D avatars in late 2021. And with that, we wrap up our video. Do let us know your thoughts on these avatar facts. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. 
If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.